So, so going, I love the word beam former. <laughs> I can't, get, I can't get past that. It's such a great it's word. It's so tricky, isn't it? It's like I want to say beam former, but I have to catch myself and 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 actually think about the word beam former. Um, and working in conjunction with that dynamic dynamic noise cancellation. If I am in, so here's the wall, right? Usually when I'm at a cocktail event. I'm using either, I always find a wall. <laughs> Regardless, when I'm talking to people, I always find a wall because then it cuts back yep. the noise. Lately. So if I, if I have four people in front of me and it's quite loud all around and I'm talking to each one, I'm turning my head, does Beamformer know who I'm talking to in which direction? And it does the noise, the dynamic noise cancellation automatically, how does it, figure that whole scenario out. That's like, it's voodoo magic. It is a bit. And I'd say there is an element of technology, but also there's there's a limitation. It's not that you're going to sit there and there's four people and it will know that, okay, it's going to be John, then Marta, and then Anne, that I'm going to focus the beam on. So your head turn does a lot of that work it does okay right right it does yes. okay so yes but what it can do is two things firstly it will assess the sound around you so auto sensor west is constantly monitoring the sound environment and figuring out what is the sound that you are in is it a cocktail party environment is it music is it chatter so is it what we call cafeteria noise is it wind noise so it has been programmed um i mean it's artificial intelligence is essentially mm -hmm. trained 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 with all different sound samples to determine okay now vincent is in a restaurant i can hear a bit of music i can hear a little bit of um background chatter but i can also hear on top of that some voices which are closer and louder then the sound around, then all that background chatter. Okay. So it can determine that to start with. And then it's like, okay, this is what I call in AutoSense OS terminology, speech and noise. There is voice and noise. And when it's in speech and noise, it says, okay, that means for speech and noise, you should, we should activate, activate the beamformer. And it will activate the beamformer to a certain, a certain angle based on the level of noise that you are in. Mm -hmm. It will activate the angle of the beamformer and it will also activate the dynamic noise cancellation. So these two work on two levels. The beamformer is really to say, I don't want to pick up 360 noise, I want to pick up whatever sound is coming from here. The dynamic noise cancellation is working on the noise level. So it's saying noise from side and the back, I will reduce. Okay. So depending on the level, you will either be, if it's speech and noise, it kicks in at a certain level, you'll be here. And if the noise gets even louder, that's when our binaural voice stream technology kicks in it realizes, oh, it's quite loud now. I need to narrow it a little bit further to improve the speech intelligibility because I know that you're in a really loud environment. And again, the dynamic noise canceller will kick in for side and back sounds, and then the beamformer is narrowed in for more of a focus of the speech signal. And then where you are in control is then your head turn will determine the focus okay conversely how does that work in a music hall or a movie theater when you do have sound throughout does it then just opened up the whole i mean just the it whole array of everything it will depend on, I guess, the analysis that AutoSense OS will make will depend on where the speech signal is coming from and how loud that is 
over the sound. So okay. in a in a cinema situation, uh, depending on how loud it is and where the speech is coming from, usually you've got, for example, it's it's Dolby surround sound, so it will not kick in as strongly okay. compared to if you were in a restaurant environment 